Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Hong campaign. This is episode 4. We pick it up from turn 13 in the summer season of 185. So last episode, we got really aggressive and sent our Imperial Army north and fought Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang's full army back to back. And it really depleted us. And it turns out, if the Captain Retinue loses a unit, they don't seem to respawn like this. Uh, we're going to get these back next turn. They'll start mustering, so they'll actually recover pretty quickly compared to these troops who can't even replenish at this uh, current position. So we got to figure out a way uh, to get our armies uh, back replenishing. Uh, and that's probably going to have to depend on Huang Gai, who is the only general we have who has the replenishment assignment. So I think they need to heal anyways so we're going to recall these two generals right here we're going to have to find an opportunity here to send the army to wipe out this force here because this is the last remaining capital of Zhang Liang and we'll be done with one of the brothers which is pretty key because we don't want them to build up more forces um, so we might even want to pull this army closer because we do have good generals here Zhou Tai is still very strong, and we could potentially take them on. So I think if we go here, and I'm tempted to start recruiting units for this group, because we're not going to get it done with this, this army. I mean, we can. It just takes us a lot longer because we have to nurse it back up. And in terms of the building here, we're definitely going to convert over to our versions. So we get a little bit uh, more population growth, which will help us with the replenishment rate down the line. And then this building we just don't need. So we're just going to demolish this and probably build... Um, I want to build a Ministry of Office, but then looking at the court, it's largely fixed. We don't really have to focus on getting political influence right now. Fervor is going to be an issue up in the north, uh, but that's a problem that we're going to just solve by having some generals around to take care of rebellions. So we'll decide what to build there after we finish demolishing. And back in our capital, we need to upgrade the town uh, to a regional city, back into a regional city. It will strain our food production a little bit, but as we capture more territories in the north, we should have enough food. Uh, so I'm going to get this started so we can upgrade this to tier 4. And because we're upgrading that to tier 4, we should have more than enough political influence going forward. So I'm actually going to take Liu Hong out of this position. It will also take care of the food strain and the public order strain uh, in the local commandery. Um, and that will also free up a spot for Huang Gai to do his assignment next turn. We still want to boost income here. Uh, food production speed up. We might move him to Hene as well because, uh, yeah, as well, because most of the green buildings are fully built given our current reform situation. These two generals can stay around and still going to be a lot of rebellions happening. So they need to hang out here, take those down. Uh, we can even put Yuan Shao, who uh, was injured in our other fight. He still didn't pick up a bad trait, so he's staying pretty tough here. He can help us uh, farm rebels here. And we can maybe use some of our seasonal deployment while we have them this turn to summon some new generals in the north to assist. In particular, I want to summon Cheng Gong, who's very useful in duels. So he's going to be very helpful here. And we don't need a retinue on him. And who does he work well with? He works well with Kong Rong and Jia Xu. That's a lot of strategists in one army. Mm. Dou Fu, who is our new general, could also be put in there. Mm. Doesn't matter if he works well with Huang Gai. He's not going to be put in the same army because Huang Gai is going to probably go on assignment for now. Mm, we'll keep him alone for now. I don't think we're in danger. If they attack, we can just retreat. Uh, if they attack the large town, we can loop them, which is what we really want to do here. Mm, I'm thinking about maybe pulling the unit out, outside of the town, and then put him in there. That way we can loop a little easier. All right, let's pop him down, pop him right there, and we should be fine. If they attack us, we might be able to just fight it. There's two anti 
like cavalry units here. The rest we can just run over repeatedly with drilled high. So that's the hopes there. Loyal. All right, we built everything there. Uh, we should put administrator here. Now there's going to be quite a bit of options. We could utilize our last eunuch for a little bit. Although the plus one mustering turn looks really bad. The minus one mustering turn here is, looks good. The public water doesn't look so hot. And someone did uh, inform me that, you know, we can use this appoint administrator button to appoint our eunuchs on turn one and then use the same button to fire them. And you don't have to go through the court system. Uh, which doesn't allow you to fire them. Apparently this is a glitch and you can actually take out your unit court just by or putting them as administrator, taking them out. That's 20 points of demotion. Uh, it just speed up a lot of the firing. But we're at a good place right now with where we are. I could use more Warlord, so that's definitely something we can keep an eye out for. I don't know who I want. In here, there's not a lot of great choices, to be honest. Like, we could potentially move some member of our court there, lose a little bit of dynasty, and then we can just replace that little bit of dynasty because we do have a lot of dynasty characters. Um, Li Jue, in particular, could be quite good, even in one of these positions because he lowers, um, let's see, he lowers retinue upkeep, which is actually really good at the cost of satisfaction. Yeah, minus 10 satisfaction, but minus 10% revenue upkeep, plus 5% replenishment faction-wise. So he's actually very good if we could get him into one of these key positions on top. Maybe it's time for Corona to come down. We'll lose a trade route, but that's a small price to pay for 10% revenue upkeep and 5% replenishment rate. Coral's not bad here either. Minus 13% construction cost and also 5 food production. I think we'll do it. And then we'll throw the jet in here to boost Dynasty up. Well, it really doesn't. We don't really care about Dynasty going to tier 3. We actually prefer not to get that, but. The bonus faction wise is just too great here. We get retinue upkeep, replenishment. The replenishment is key. So I think we just do this. Even though potentially I would love to get nine more points of Warlord as well. Right, this way we. Actually, Shunyu is really good. We get basically the same bonuses as Kongrong. But we get six Orlord point, and we get the trade route maintained, and we get five percent income from all sources. Oh, tough debate. If I could thin out some of my War uh, Dynasty down here, because I really don't want, hmm, I really don't want super high Dynasty. We get another assignment slot. All right, fine. We need replenishment, so this is probably no-brainer right now, and we'll try to get more warlord through some other method later on. All right, that pushes tier three dynasty. We should have another assignment available. We can probably send someone here this turn. Even we can speed up mustering. That would also help that fresh new uh, cavalry unit that's coming out to replenish up a little faster. Do we want Empress Ho to get more level? I guess we could. Redeployment cost benefits. Oh, she's not in one of those positions. Never mind. She doesn't need levels. Because she's never coming out on the battlefield. So I think we could send him here to do that. All right. That's fine. So we have that set up. We have the administrator set up. We altered our court again. So now we completely have no bureaucratic influence, which might give us another trade. 
No, it doesn't. But it should also it should speed up build time, right? And cost went down by so much. Okay, so that's good. That reset is fine. This one has been going on for two turns, so we're not going to reset that. Now, do we want to recruit an army? Because we get that must we get that mustering benefit next turn, so we should wait till next turn. All right, Zilin's unhappy because of Li Jue's rise of minus ten satisfaction. Um, the problem is he's willing to spy, so he's willing to turn coat as well. That's a little concerning. Maybe we just throw him a title. Hmm, we have a lot of titles. Right, we can actually give some of these out to the administrators. Commerce income in the capital is not that bad. Let's do that. And he's still alive, 74. We don't need industry income boost just yet. What can we give you? I don't think we need to give him anything. He's just there farming rebels. Patrol commander, cheapest one. All right, let's do that. Just so that we have no satisfaction issues. And then for spies who are your turncoats, who you can turn, you can check their uh, warlord or bureaucrat or dynasty here. So we Handang is actually warlord, so that's pretty attractive. We might consider actually flipping him, asking him to join us, maybe next turn. Because I don't know if he has any defensive setup against us. He's running out of characters in court. We're stealing all of them. Cai Mao from Cao Cao. It's another tempting name. He's 62. I don't know why he's willing to be a turncoat. It must be a trait. He must have the disloyal trait or something. Alright, we'll get a spy into his faction just so that we can see who he has. He should have a bunch of characters. He got Zhang Hong. Interesting. Oh, he doesn't have... What happened to his core roster? Xia Houdun never joined him? Oh, maybe it's too early. It's only 185. That's right. Still very early. Um, He's... Let's see. He's going to have anti-spying on the undercover network. Gotta be careful when we make a spy action against him. Alright, pretty happy with our setup. Let's end turn. Potentially, I wanted to recruit another general, but I don't think we can handle that right now. So, we'll just leave it as is. Alright, they did come out to attack our army, but then they added a new general. They added Zhang Liang in here, so we can't take that on. So, I think we retreat, let them chase us into the territory, and we should probably be close enough for reinforcement range. And also... Uh, Pei Wenshao's army moved down to assist Zhang Nao's last territory as well. Oh, he's going straight for our garrison here. Huh. I'm going to retreat as well. He's going to run out of movement. Alright, He Yi got destroyed. Good job, Yuan Shu. And we probably want Dutiful. Yeah, the extra satisfaction is better. Chen Hu. Right, we reduced his loyalty last turn. Doesn't matter if he's a, a bureaucrat. We just want him on the army. He's a very, very strong character. We got a bandit character without any uh, associations because, you know, bandits. That's interesting because it's added in after the patch. Oh, after the release of Mandate of Heaven, the bandit revamp. So that's interesting how they took care of the situation by not giving them any associations. So we finally have Reach here, which is nice. All right, they're trapped in our territory. They're not replenishing either. Their army is rather weak. We are getting mustering bonuses. So I'm actually tempted to... Oh, we can actually use this unit and wipe them out. So all the cavalry should die cleanly, and then we can get them all mustering back. Which is kind of the goal here. And then we can see if we can recruit a few more generals for Chenggong. 
So, Chen Pu is willing to work together with him. Perfect. And Huang Gai needs to do assignments. So maybe Coral, but Coral is rather weak on the battlefield. I guess we don't have any other choice. We could recruit the bandit, but I'd rather not at this point. Dong Chong mm, doesn't have resiliency, so he might just straight up die. So I think we'll just borrow Coral for this fight. We're going to throw Huang Gai in here for the replenishment conscription. And Liu Hong can take a break. We don't need that 10 points for a little while. Our food is doing fine. We probably want to just boost peasantry here. Oh, no, no, no. We're saving him to come do the farming boost. Now, what do we want to build here? This is tempting. So is this. 12 points per turn, 80 points, 44 to go, 4 turns. If we do 16 to go, it's still 4, no, it's 3 turns if we build this. But government support is probably better. Alright, let's do that. Alright, how do we crush this army? I think we just fight it, use our generals here. They're probably going to run a little bit. But we will use our generals to kill John Down. The units are all fairly weak, so I think we can handle it. Alright, so he ran twice. That's in reinforcement range. We're going to move this group in reinforcement range as well. There we go. Okay, let's fight this out. Let's wipe out their force. Let's quickly take down their city and one of the John brothers. Alright, since we can get mustering bonuses on these six unit right here, these guys just get wiped after getting wiped. So these guys are very precious right now before we figure out how we can get them to replenish. So we're actually going to move them back into a... Uh, actually, this is fine. Right in the middle. Something slightly more defensive. And we're going to buy time with this group right here. We're going to send Hezin back with this group. And this group will just try to do as much damage as they can. Let's call this one. And then we'll move our generals that's reinforcing to come up. And the goal is all these units need to die. Completely get wiped. So we can combine the minus 3 turn mustering and then the 10% x-ray replenishment to get them to full health fairly quickly. We probably want to keep them in shield wall, just for the best defensive setup. Maybe next to that rock. Wait, what happened? Hmm. Must have misclicked. Alright, there we go. Wait. I did wait, I didn't misclick. This was right here. Alright. Now I want these guys. Alright, there we go. Now they're listening. Alright, they're getting closer to our Pull them back a little. Then we range units first. Alright, so we want to get this duel um, either with Chen Pu or with Zhou Tai. Probably Zhou Tai right now. Chen Pu is just level 1, no good items. And then we want Analyze Weakness and then Seal Off Enemy Ability. Alright, we'll send these two out. They will hold right here. 
Now the problem is Zhang Nan usually doesn't like to duel, but some other people might, so... We'll keep pulling them. Alright, we'll see if we can grab one of them to duel. Alright, they're dividing their force up a little bit. There we go. We'll pull him back. It's this guy, I think. Yeah, Zhao Bo. Who I think is the first general you kill as Liu Bei in the 190 start. I think he's the army that's right outside of Dong Aramai. Alright, they stopped chasing us, which is great. The problem is they have the same exact range as us. Let's lose formation. Try to absorb some of that damage. Alright, they'll fire back. Charge. See if they can charge Zhang Liang and just kill him. Way of War? Nemesis buff? With who? Oh, hey, we have Nemesis buff. Okay, uh, get closer, get closer. Alright, we should be able to kill him fairly easily with that. Alright, they can kill that. Crossbowman killing Tyrant Slayer? No problem. Alright, kill that. Look how fast we're killing him. Nemesis buff is huge. Alright, we wipe that. Continue to go harass. Alright, Jotai has one. Alright, this is where things get messy. Let's see if we can pull them a little bit to the side. Away from the engagement. Uh, decline. Pull them back a little. Keep moving. Move them back. Alright, we'll let them hold. We're probably going to lose a lot of these units, and then what we're going to have to do is just keep one group of our cavalry. Now, does he want to duel us? He doesn't want to duel us. Okay. Then we'll act as reverse charging cavalry. Nope. Pull them back. Charge again. Do we have a roar? Oh, we don't, because Gongsun Zan had the roar. I'll get everyone some shielding. Alright. Pull them over here. Take care of these units. Cavalry go. Nope. Decline. Sword out. Alright. Alright, we took care of all the units. Finish this up. Alright, they bounce back. Suicide our cavalry into them. Remember, we kind of want to kill off our own cavalry. There we go. Pull them off. One, everyone on Zhang Liang. Yeah, our archers can probably pick them off. Alright, they routed. We'll let them run, because they, they retreated once already, so they're all gone. Alrighty. Alright, 
Alright, we still lost quite a bit of men, so it's unfortunate. And I think we'll just get replenishment. Now, we didn't get any of his items, nor did we capture him. That's a little bit of a shame. And we lost the mustering because we moved. Um, there will be 10 more percent of replenishment kicking in. Now, we can't get to the farmland because he's blocking. And we can't get past this circle unless we fight through him. And I don't think we want to do that. I think I want him to come to the large town and we just circle him to death. So I think... I'm probably going to use our generals here. Alright, they, they have no cavalry, so they have no speed. Alright, I want them to be as far away from the enemy as possible. Give them a chance to heal up a little bit. I guess they're not healing. Well, when the replenishment come in, it, they might heal. I want to be behind the city in the ambush so they can go reinforce and they can be bait and let them attack us. And then we'll use the towers to just wear this group out. And then they're probably going to recruit a new group here and then we just have to wipe that. Alright, he's getting mad, but that's fine. He can't turn coat us, which is the only thing I'm really afraid of. Now there's going to be a rebel group do that. Oh, the Eagle is fanatic. We want that item. Hmm. I'm going to fight this manually and cut it off just so that we don't kill her in the fight. I don't know if she will have Unbreakable or not. If she does, then be a little bit unfortunate. But we'll see you guys at the end here. Alrighty. Let's see if we got the item. Yep. Let's execute for some extra satisfaction for our group because it is becoming to become becoming a problem, especially with the Jue in our court. Alright, so she's still on the field. I think we can just delegate this. Even though we took a lot of damage last fight. Alright, perfect. Now, it's probably the best time to recall them to heal. We'll keep Yuan Shao on the field. There's going to be a rebellion in two turns, so it's going to happen really quick again. Alright, we can check out if Tai Mao is actually... He's Warlord, plus three. Hmm... That's nice. So we have two people stashed here that we can actually recall for Warlord. But there's no rush. We can keep them around for a little bit just to see if we have opportunities. Uh, we're just paying upkeep as spies versus upkeep as our general. They're the same thing. Alright, we're good. Uh, we're still not recruiting an army in the north. We're going to hope we can use the town to defend against that army they will probably come attack us we probably have to retreat and we we'll probably just have to you know reset that up hopefully with 10 percent replenishment we'll be at 17 so we get six percent it's a little bit of healing uh but it's better than nothing at this point all right i think we're good to go uh do we have any developments Yeah, it's not like we can peace out with the yellow turbans. Let's continue. Alright, they did come chase us down. We can retreat and we'll be out of their range. Alright, Ying Shao has died. It's unfortunate. Now, their army didn't attack the town. They parked it pretty close to the town, though. Maybe they'll attack it this turn. I'm counting on it. Alright, we want to build this first. Yeah, please attack us. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to... Recruit Li Jue and oh, we should apply the item to our faction as well. Sealing back. And the person we're gonna give the item to is probably the Emperor. Get some more authority. 
We can boost it about plus 13, I believe. The extra health, mm, maybe actually with plus 6 resolve, we might want it on one of these generals. Not Yuan Shao, though. He Jin is on the battlefield. Maybe He Jin can get it. Yeah, he has a problem where he needs about seven more points to make a real dent, but this should be helpful by itself. It's fine. All right, more rebellions happening soon. This is pretty much maxed out. Yeah, we're just waiting on reforms at this point. And also this upgrade will enable that. Uh, what do I do with this army that's not healing? I need to be in the territory to heal, but if I'm in the territory, I'll get attacked. Maybe I can come and just sneak attack the farmland. Hold on. Can I trade territories, please? I need this farmland. 23.4. Okay. We can make that work. We're done with the unique item. We don't need it anymore. Let's get rid of these. And then we can make food and regular payments. He probably doesn't need food, consider he's holding two food producing counties. But we can still offer one. 1 1.1 is pretty good value. And then we'll just give him, not request payment, we'll give him a payment. And this will also strengthen him, I believe. We're talking about maybe 5,000 starting. Oh, 6050. Good number here. All right. Since they're the same commandery, I should get the 10% boost sitting in here as well. So I'll be able to heal up as we wait that army out. I'm going to hide here. And try to relocate this way after a few turns. As we're going to wait out that army right here with the defensive structure there. Alright, pretty happy with that. Not doing much with spies. I think we can proceed. Alright, they have attacked us. This is the key defensive hold here with the towers. If we can do it, um, highly depends on whether they have flaming shot or not uh, on the archers. But I think we should be able to pull it off even if they do. So let's jump in here. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Um, they split their force, which is interesting. So they're clearly going to be inside the town very soon. We can't really stop them from entering and that's not our goal. The goal is to make sure they don't just stop once they enter. So this force is going to be on the run. I think we're going to send them this way to run into the forest area over there. Our three generals could probably take on this group by themselves. He doesn't look very strong. But Chen Pu is not the best duelist. We should be patient. We should wait for our... Uh, Zhou Tai to show up. We don't need any barricades, so let's start. Run them out. Run them out. And we want to go all the way into that forest. Come over here, please. So this is what we're going to play around with. Now let's see if we can bait them to not enter. They're clearly going to enter, but that's fine. Oh, we have Undying Vow. Oh, it's over. It's over. They don't want to duel. Okay. So at this point, everyone can hide. It's a solo show at this point. We are now officially fatigue immune. We are insanely strong. We just gotta stay away from all these spear units. We don't want to lose our mount. And they are chasing us. Okay, they're gonna chase a uh, fatigue immune Zhou Tai around the map. That's gonna periodically turn around and kill them. Not only are we fatigue immune, we heal. We constantly heal. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, they didn't enter. This group is entering. But they're getting shredded by the tower. 
Alright, you sure you guys don't want to duel me? Yeah, they don't want to duel. Alright, they're already routing by themselves. Alright. Gonna go straight for the general. Oh, he hit me with Wiz in the River. Guess what? I don't have any melee evasions once I activate Undying Val. And it doesn't matter. How is he routing already? Such poor morale. I know we cause fear. He's under fire, so that's like minus 8. But still, he barely took any damage. Yeah, the rest of the group is not going in either. Everyone's hidden. We're fine. The only thing visible is Joel Tai, so they will eventually come over. I think it's our own arrow towers hitting our own general that's doing the damage. But he'll heal back. Alright, we'll let him run. Negative 46, he's probably not going to bounce back. We're going to go draw their attention again. And now we're unstoppable. Jotai got Undying Vile set up. Alright, going to whack him a couple times. Oh, he died to arrow towers on the outside. See, they're coming out. They're trying to group with their force. We got so many towers here. How are they going to survive? No, oh, he's going to capture one. Maybe. Alright, they captured one. Don't worry, we got tons more. Nope. Not interested right now. You guys are following me. And I won't get tired. You guys don't have any cavalry. There's no way we can get caught. Ah, so many spear units. We can't even do this. We don't even have to loop them around. We can just loop them back and forth. And if we're close to them, we caught scare. Look at the morale hit once we're close to them. Yeah, it's a nice spot where three towers hit them, so there's no reason for us to actually <laughs> loop. We'll just keep them here. The only thing I don't like is the tree. It's blocking some of the arrow damage. Man, if they had sword units, I'll just be charging in there killing them. Kind of like this. There we go. We can chase for a little bit. It's just free kills. So see you guys at the end. Alrighty. So, Jotai is insane now. Maybe we'll actually play this whole campaign without recruiting a single unit. We'll just use our Imperial Army. Okay, we'll take that bow from Guanhai. Alright, so Zhang Yang got destroyed by Liu Bei, and then Huang Shao's army tried to dock, and then the Wu Zhu's army took care of that as well. So, our subjects are doing great. We have a new child, a daughter, a princess. Oh, Tell Xuan died. 75. One year longer than he lived in real life, so that's a win for him. And uh, we can appoint a new administrator here. And I kind of want to put one of our dynasty characters over here just so that we can lower this down a bit. Um, Zhou Shen perhaps. Oh, he doesn't have any of the bonuses that I'm looking for. Mm. Peasantry is not bad. We don't need any construction cost discount going forward because it's already fully built. 
So this might be good. Xunshuang has Burns, so that's 10%, and then he can get 20%. Okay, actually, Xunshuang would be the best one here. Alright, Xunshuang can manage the capital. That's a pretty good honor. And then we have an opening position here for one of our potential Warlord characters. I think Jotai deserves a position about. Hmm. Although the only problem is... Uh, who cares if he's not very good for diplomatic relationships, you know, just doesn't make sense. Zhou Tai being your, you know, ambassador to all the other factions. Alright, we got more rebels, no items, this is just a delegate. Alright, we'll release, get more money, and then clean them out. Alright, Li Jue leveled up. So we want to go down here, because he's in a key position, so we're going to go here. Population growth. I'm actually interested in that. So. Put that back in. Go for more. Resolve, basically. Alright, that's perfect. Should you leveled up? Hmm. I don't care much for... Like, capturing yellow turbans doesn't do anything for us. Night battle, maybe? We'll work towards that. And yeah, he can probably take a bow. Uh, we have night battle on this army already. So with the southern flank taken care of, and this army replenishing, we can have them crush this. We can delegate, because we're replenishing right now, so it's fine. And then they can stay in Ye to heal up a little bit. Yeah, we only lost 6. Get 2% back. Well, they go out and just take some land. Because Zhou Tai is insane now. Hold out. Hold on, hold on. We want to put them together. This group travel together. They can hold here for a little bit. Huh? Now it's a close victory instead of heroic. I guess because it's not as hard. Because we get more generals. Um... That's fine. Doesn't matter as long as we get the win. Alright, gotta level up on Zhou Tai. Ooh. Oh, he has reach ready. Hmm. Maybe more speed? More speed, more charge bonus, or we can do more post-battle loot, but we don't need money in this campaign. We don't need fatigue resistance, there's no retinue. Yeah, I think more speed's probably best, and then probably some melee attack rate. Since we got the speed buff, maybe we want to steal Huang Gai's horse now. Even though it's slower, it has more charge mass and more bonuses. And since we had 25% extra speed, it should even out the slower speed situation here. Is there anything awesome we can give him? Extra health? It's not really needed. Extra armor... Ooh, extra diplomatic relationship. We should give that to someone, though. That could help us. Range damage. Shock cavalry. Morale. Mm, nothing really fits. 
This might actually help him the most, so he can be the Koi Dragon here. Now, who is one of our positions who we can give that title to help the relationship out? Mm, Dong Chong, perhaps? Yeah, let's do that. Well, he also leveled up. Good for him. Once he gets mad enough to leave, we'll just let him leave because we got most of the farmer use already. Alright, so we want... what is it? General of... General who supports the Han. There we go. And... oh right, we had the war blade from our last administrator who died. Oh, not giving it to Korong though. So Trimpu can probably use it as a weapon. Okay, we just lack items. Alright, now we have more food, which we're going to need because we have uh, a food situation coming up. Yeah, and then we'll just row up north, clean out the territory as we move this way, let this army replenish up. And then we'll have a very strong, sturdy army moving this way. Now, I don't think we can ever replace this. That's the thing. So it's a little sad we lost one of these Imperial Gate Guards. But that is the cost of doing battle here. All right, let's just review our spy situation. Yeah, nobody that we want going to balance the stat a little bit. Same thing here. Yeah, we're going to wait till he gets Sahul brothers to see if we can steal them. All right, we're good to go. Let's continue. All right, General in Chief. The people are hard to understand, harder still to predict. It seems, although the Emperor is chosen by the heavens, the people instead show their Adoration for He Jin, his general in chief. Can such imbalance be countenance or supported? Um, oh, we can actually increase our dynasty influence just by praising him. That doesn't sound bad. I mean, he's our brother in law. What's he going to do? We don't really need political influence as much right now. There's only one eunuch I really want to fire. So, yeah, let's praise our brother in law. He's doing great. Oh, they need healing. That delegate hurt them a lot. We should just fought it. Let Jotai go crazy on them. Alright, we're going to actually give him a reach. Put him as the first position here. So we we are bad at taking cities just because we got a siege out of turn. So I think we'll just take our opportunity elsewhere. And just restrict the amount of territory. Oh, wow. That is not what I expected. Why are they not out east? I thought they would be pushing this direction. Okay. That's an interesting development. Okay. They can't reach us, so we're good. Zhang He? Oh, another bureaucrat, come on. Um, we're gonna give them a command. Go take care of your own situation. I don't need you to help me anywhere else, you just need to survive. Liu Bei also finished up our command, and we're going to give him a new one. And I want him to take Bo Hat. Is this Zhang Bao's last? No, Zhang Bao has Bo Hat as well. Okay, so we can wipe him out next episode, pretty sure. Alright, let's see, what do we want as reforms? There's a few options, get more tax collection. 
Okay, most of these are bad. I think this is good. Uh, get extra food in our capital. Another trade route is obviously great. Inn building is pretty great. This might be the most useful for all our commanderies, though. Almost everything's agricultural. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go this route because this is the only useful building left for us. That's just too far in this tree here. We're not recruiting any more units, so this is useless, and we can't really rush this because this is 30 turns in. Like, this is not really a rush. The campaign's over by then. Like, the biggest benefit is probably another trade route. That's the direct benefit. Yeah, I think this is probably the best. Because not only do we make more money, we help our vassals make, or our subjects make more money, and then they in turn give us more tribute. So it's a win win for everyone. Alright, because they have Jade. Do they have items? No, but we do apparently. Hmm, they're not rich. Uh, let's see. We can do 58 probably here, or 57. Wow. And we can just compare real quick. Yeah. The straight cash option is going to be worth more. Probably do. Yep, let's do that. Right, and we're respected for fighting against the enemy of the alliance. Hmm. This is a little scary. Seems like we have to move this way. And then we should have this army just go siege this. I'm gonna recall him. Honestly, I, I kind of want to recall everyone, but then they will lose movement. Alright, I want him healed. Chen Gong can be a little weak, I guess. We can start the siege. Give up a turn of replenishment. Is that worth it? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. We'll waste a turn sieging. It'll be fine. Ooh, Huang Gai leveled up. Yeah, we'll give him reach. He's serving a greater good right now. Alright, seems safe. We can upgrade it to a small city. We don't have to use the defensive trick here again. Now that our army is rolling. And I think we can end turn here. Watch this situation. It's a little scary. He shouldn't be able to reach us, so we should be safe. Alright, I've got to upgrade this. And we got a new building slot. So what do we want to build here? Um, honestly, probably... We don't need any corruption reduction. So we technically don't need a state workshop, even though it provides the biggest amount of flat income. And we can just use population to boost the rest of the, uh, the income that we have here. Marketplace? Not really. I'd rather get private workshop if that's the case. Because we can get a little bit of industry if we upgrade all this all the way to tier five. Hold on. Wanna check out the fervor situation. We don't have any. Okay, so that's doing only a temple then. I'm still tempted for state workshop. Just for the pure income boost. Talking about what? 340. 340. Base commerce, if we boost that by 100%. Actually, private workshop's better then. Alright, we'll do that.
Oh, uh, they're also super injured. We'll do one recall here. Let's go. Oh, Huang Shao's force was not destroyed. Did they ambush themselves? I thought them disappear next to Lu Zhi. I thought they got destroyed. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Alright, I guess we're losing this. Alright, Bei Gong Boy died. Okay. Dong He also died. Okay, so we're gonna end our episode right here as we have a few yellow turban forces around us. Two big stacks. Uh, our Imperial Army is actually healing, so that's a good sign. And we have very strong general in Zhou Tai right now. Probably strong enough that he can solo this army if we really wanted to. Um, but I think we might actually skip out on that. We might let him take it and then we re-take uh, it. Let him waste a turn on the farmland. And then we wipe him out next episode. And we also want to wipe out uh, Zhang Bao's forces as well. He doesn't have much of a force left and I'm sending all these generals north to take care of them so it should be quick I might turn around and wipe this out first and then this take care of both of these let the uh, subjects take care of these and then you know we'll just squeeze through the last bit of Zhang Jiao's territory and then it'll be all over so that's the plan uh, the yellow turbans are not that strong Gondu is not going crazy yet and most of the small forces have been killed off just the little one right here and we can see that uh, they have successfully taken Dong so this is their only territory so we can wipe out Huang Shao next episode and probably Zhang Bao next episode as well so hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you all next time bye